Hey, this is Angie of Happy Healthy Vegan. And um, we're just gonna do a little what I ate and didn't do. So come along. Hey, baby, what's going on with you? <laughs> As you can tell, I'm getting ready to go rollerblading. No, I'm just kidding. I'm rollerblading. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting ready to go to the gym, a little workout before I get my day started. So oh, I'll film cool. a little bit of that too. So this is what I am having for breakfast. Uh, this is my epic no big peach pie. So I think it might even been the last one of these I did. Some joker was saying, um, Ooh, is it a frozen pie you're eating for breakfast? It's so unhealthy. No, you guys, this is literally just made out of sprouted oats, dates, uh, walnuts, peaches and some vanilla and cinnamon powder. That's it. There's nothing unhealthy about it. There's no refined white sugar. There's there's not even any wheat. Not that I'm scared of wheat. And guess where you can find out about it, you guys? And keep a carb, baby. Yeah. So it's like it's this pie right here. So anyways, I'm going to slice up a piece of this to bring with me to the coffee house. So because this pie is frozen pretty solid. I found that I can easily bring a slice of it with me in my purse. There we go. So I just put it in my little reusable container, put the lid on it, ready to go. Stopped the library and got a book. I, I don't know much about it, but hopefully it'll be good. I've been thinking about the sunny afternoon. Oh yeah. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Oh. All right, so I'm back, feeling a little bit sweaty, but it was a nice ride. Ah, oh, another scrub day. It's after eating these wild cherries that are all over these trees in the backyard. So cute. So I like to begin every workout with a nice warm up. It helps you from getting injured and it gets your body ready for more intense stuff to come. I want to preface this video. I'm not trying to impress you guys. I'm not trying to show off or anything. I'm just showing with me, a non-pro athlete, a very humble 52-year-old music producer, video producer is doing to improve his basketball athleticism. And these are some of the workouts I've been doing to be able to slam dunk as I started doing earlier this year, doing some vertical jumps. And here I'm working on some broad jumps. All right, so all done with my workout on the basketball court. So now I headed over to the weight room area and I'm still working on jumping. And I've added some resistance to the jump in the form here of squat jumps using the barbell as resistance. Next up were trap bar deadlifts. And by the way, I love trap bar versus barbell because I'm tall and this is easier on my back. Anyway, my legs are a bit sore from a tempo run a couple days ago with my running club. So instead of going heavy, going a little lighter, but going for higher reps. To get a good complete leg workout, I can't forget the calves. I was really hitting the glutes and hamstrings before, so now I'm doing my favorite lift, weighted calf raises. And you can see I have a lot of gains in my legs here. Check out these calves. Yeah, my upper body's not quite as caught up here, but you can also see my favorite lifting shoes. They're flat bottom, they're fully vegan, they're from As Nature Intended, and we have a coupon code. Go to anibrand.com and five bucks from your order will be donated to Mercy for Animals. About six weeks ago at the gym, I discovered battle ropes and I've been loving them ever since. It's this great full body workout, your core, your upper body, particularly your shoulders. I even feel it in the chest and I've increased my endurance from about 25 seconds to about 60. And also about six odd weeks ago, I discovered overhead presses and I've been making some nice gains. Started with 25 pound dumbbells. I'm now up to 45 pounds, five rep sets. And yeah, I'm just doing it because I'd like to develop my shoulders a little more. So how'd it go, babe? Yeah, it was good. I was um, there for about two hours. So oh, yeah? I am really um, yeah, ready to get some food in me. Oh, yeah? I forgot to show before I left, I had a banana. Oh, one that's, banana. That's my normal thing. Long-time viewers will know that. So now oh, I'm, yeah. not, I'm not going to make all these bananas, obviously. Ooh, look at his body. Yeah, these nice. are perfect. So this is four, seven, 
eight, I'll probably about nine bananas, all these and two of these small ones. Yeah. And then I've been, you guys know I've been adding this stuff in from Clean Machine. It's a whole food plant ground up called yeah. lentin, and it's really high in your essential amino acids and ALA, amongst, amongst other stuff. So How I just have a coupon. I have a coupon code. I mentioned that. I just got up on our website, final. Oh. Happy Vegan, all one word, all lowercase, and you save 20%. I'll put the link down below cool. too. On gym days, I put in a full scoop, which is about oh, okay. 20 grams of protein. Oh, you getting low? I gotta, yeah, Ooh. I get some more. But yeah, I put a full oh, scoop in the stuff. That's an interesting in. smell. Yeah, it just, it's, it's very it smells planty. Sweet. Yeah. Sweet and planty. Yeah. Then maybe I'll put in a blueberry or two or something like that, whatever we've yeah. got in the fridge. I'd highly recommend adding a peach or two. Oh, what yeah, do you I think? Didn't, I didn't know you had some spare oh, peaches. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do have spare peaches. Yeah, I'll, I'll get you I'll another. I'll put that in instead of the um, berries. Let's yeah. pack to the max. Yes, one peach is fine. So I put in one less banana than I showed earlier, but have this big honking pooch Ooh, in there. Wow, you can really blend all that. Oh, yeah, no problem. Will it blend? <laughs> it will blend. Start using flaxseed too, you said? Yeah, even though the, the um, Green Machine powder has got... ALA, you can't get, you know, it's too much omega 3s here. So I've put a little, been putting a little flaxseed in my, my oh, smoothies. No. Yeah. Mmm, breakfast. I'm still pretty amazed <laughs> you can drink that whole thing, to be honest. Yeah, I try to drink it slowly. You it's know, a maybe lot. Maybe like 10, 12 minutes or so. Wow. Yeah. All right, well, enjoy. Thank you. I always forget to show that I have um, some of these um, pumpkin seeds too in the morning. I, after my smoothie, if I feel a little hungry. Did I see you eating these throughout the day? Yeah, I eat these throughout the day. I just feel bad. I don't always show these, but here they are. Yeah. Packed with that iron, protein. These, these rock. Mmm. Mmm. They're Good. delicious. Too. Right. So I love going to the coffee house on Friday because that's when my uh, Apple Music, New Music playlist comes out. And I get to find out about uh, new music that's coming out. And it usually inspires me. <laughs> JoJo's here. Usually inspires me to, um, to start a playlist or maybe do a podcast. Jojo. Mm. I forgot to tell you guys over on the community tab that I had done a new chill cast recently. Um, let's see, so, yeah, so you can click through to my Mixcloud account and you can stream it here. Um, you can also check out if you prefer SoundCloud playlists, you can check it out over here too. It's not the same, you know, this is individual tracks, whereas uh, Mixcloud is a full mixed set. Here's a preview. Anyway, so check me out. Mixcloud.com slash Angie B if you'd like to hear my latest mix. I also recently uh, created a Spotify playlist that you can follow if you're into uh, K-pop, um, South Korean hip-hop, R&B, EDM. And uh, I think I'm going to add some new songs to that today, so check me out. While you're there, you might also want to check out the Angie B Spotify discography. <laughs> 122 songs, so there's a lot of Angie B to be enjoyed on Spotify. Were you so inclined? Look what just got delivered to us. It's an air fryer. Oh my goodness, it was sent to us to check out. So I've come up with a great way to try it out. I'm going to have Ryan make some um, oil-free corn chips, and I'm going to make some guacamole from the recipe in my Keep It Car Baby cookbook. And we're gonna enjoy it. All right, so I've got it all cleaned up, and now I just gotta bring Ryan in here to check it out. You did. Hey. So I think a lot of you guys know that Ryan's kind of like the official rice maker around here. Yes, I'm a master of rice. Uh, yeah, so he's really gotten the hang of a pressure cooker, and um, now he's gonna become the official air fryer. I think as well. Yeah, I've worked my way around an air fryer or two in my day. I'm right, gonna plug it in. Woo Oh, oh, there it is! Electronics. I know, wow. Oh my gosh, you're the one that troubleshoots everything around here. That's hey, why I thought I'd drag you into I'd this. I have to read the manual for that. You plug it in, electronics come on. So, what's this? I think that's the power button. Oh, there's everything. All right, chef, so what are the steps here? Um, nothing too scientific. Just I stacked up like three tortillas together here and I'm just cutting them into what look like you know the kinds of sizes of um, chips you get in the bags you know yeah tortilla strip bags and I'm using some non-gmo corn tortillas here that we get at our market right so this would be a total of um, nine tortillas right now three, okay three stacks of three cool oh it's a cute little song Okay, so then it goes inside of this basket. 
something roomy in there. Yeah. Should we put more or just? Well, let's put one more. There's time. Um, that's a little, this is really easy to use. I thought this through. I'm gonna do um, probably 10 minutes and then um, check them and flip them. Uh, maybe I need to hit this to start it. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, that seems to be doing something. I wonder what level of heat we're on. Oh, I didn't check. Oh, there's the, this said the degrees, 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, okay, so we're not like super high or anything. Oh yeah, there it is. All right, great. Oh, like, wow. It's pretty idiot proof because I didn't read a friggin' thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. <laughs> oh my God, I've got to get the guacamole started. Right, let's do it. So while these are cooking, I'm going to refer to my guacamole recipe here and keep the carb baby, which, oh yeah, that would be in the, oh, here we go. I've got a topping section. Da da da, classic guacamole. Well, I don't have any cilantro, unfortunately, but it's not necessary for guacamole. What is necessary is ripe avocados, and for me, lime, and then I've got an assortment of spices here. Uh, so I'm gonna get to it. Hopefully I didn't let these avocados ripen too long. Sometimes you can't tell. How did we do? Oh, not too bad, not too bad at all. This was Ryan's grandma's. I inherited it from her. And uh, so, yeah, I like to do this old fashioned way. Yeah. Get a little arm workout. I just wing it when I do it. Yeah. Ooh, the machine just shut down. Cool. Check them. All right. Let me um, kind of put it in scientifically. Ah, oh, it's hot in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could give you some time. Oh, no. That's cool. They do yeah, warn you. They need some more time. Okay. See if I remember how to do it again. You hit the clock, um, and yeah, probably another ten minutes or so. All right. All right. Cool. Oh, and, and then start. Oh. Woohoo! Wow, you learned that fast. I'm quick with tech. <laughs> <laughs> so some people like their guacamole really smooth, and in that case, you could use an immersion blender. But some people like it chunky, and I like it somewhere in between. So I just mash it by hand. I guess if I had a lot of guacamole for like a party, I might use a potato masher. All right, I just hit stop. And yeah, they feel perfect. Oh my God. Perfect okay. shapes. Oh, I feel all the heat coming off yeah. of Yeah, there is some heat developing Ooh. in this thingy. What's nice though, is that with an air fryer, it's like, you know, when we have to use the oven, ooh, it makes the whole house hot. Here the heat is just like contained within this unit. Yeah, it doesn't make the house as hot as the oven for sure. I'm already eating them. <laughs> yeah, you already started, huh? Let me check uh -huh. this out. Crunchy. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, delish. Mmm, nice. Yeah, you like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Love that's it. what I always have to say. Yeah, you like that? Mm-hmm. The chips seem like they turned out good. Mmm. Mmm. Be a vegan. Turn in the start. Air frying your chips is great because you can them totally oil free. So these are mm. oil free mm -hmm. and salt free. And you might say that sounds really boring. But the thing is all the flavors in your in guacamole or your salsa or mm -hmm. whatever you want to eat it with. So mm -hmm. you don't really need to put like a bunch of stuff on the chip. It's kind of overkill. Yeah. And mm. then, then you don't come away all totally salted out, you know. Mm. What I really like to do because I like doing like a three layer dip where I just, in a pan, I just spread out. Mmm, with um, beans. Yeah, I spread out some uh, the refried beans and some salsa and guacamole. Yeah. If I'm really feeling fancy, I might make some of my, um, my, uh, my nacho cheese sauce. It sounds good, but mmm. I think we might just go to town on this. What do you think? Let's go to town. Okay. <laughs> Last night on a live stream on YouTube, um, we did a sudden flash sale, so I've got a lot of uh, packages to send out and I promise to autograph stuff So I'm gonna do that now and we're gonna get everything ready and bring it down to the post office It always amazes me that um, a lot of you guys don't realize that we have a band um, We've been making music together since 1998 and this is our most recent album uh, Life goes on we did a small pressing of it in CD format just for for the, uh, you know, the ability for us to be able to send them out to you guys and autograph them. So I'm gonna autograph this one. Let's see here. 
There we go, and I'll get Ryan in here. Anyways, I am really, really proud of the work that Ryan and I did on this album. We really took our time with it. Let me show you the album cover, by the way. This is our favorite spot, like, in the world. Wow, I see our good friend Tracy ordered our previous album. Wow, this one, I really went nuts. <laughs> yes, multiple panels. This is a really great company we worked with on this one. It's uh, all like recycled paper and soy-based inks. And, oh my God, 2009, holy moly, this one's older. So yeah, I definitely got autographed this from a girl, Tracy. Yeah, you've heard a lot of these songs on the show too. And it looks like Vanessa and Ventura picked up a copy of the uh, second edition of the Keep It Car Baby Cookbook, which I just want to quickly show you. There's my girl, Tracy. She helped me uh, re-edit this one just to make it a little more clear. And you know, there's a few things different with this cookbook. Not not a lot, I just, I put some different pictures in it um, here and there. It's like, you know, I have a better camera now. Oh, these are, that's me in 1986 or 87. There I am in high school. Over here, like, for instance, this picture that Ryan took is so cute. I wanted to swap that one out and this one too. It's me on my beloved bicycle. So Ryan's been throwing in his business cards into the packages. That's kind of a fun little extra, but yeah, Ryan's running for office here in Long Beach. Ryan's making us a snack. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we need to go to the post office and walk your friend's dog. And yeah. I want to make sure we just don't like all of a sudden get super starved and make some poor decisions. So a little snack before we go. Also, I wanted to show you guys that I made some cherry jam. You've seen some cherries from my sister's uh, neighbor's backyard and actually turned out pretty interesting. I like it. I really think God doesn't like her. <laughs> da 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 post office. Someone told us to check our box on Instagram. So. Yeah, let's go check. Oh, Bandit's so excited to see us. It's been too long, huh, Bandit? Look how ready he is to go. Bandit! See that squirrel or no? He's right here. He's right here. Hi, squirrel. Damn, he doesn't even know. The squirrel right here. Hi. Hey, hey, a piece. Hey, come on, don't pee on this chart. <laughs> hey, look at that. Look at that. So tiny. Such a tiny. It's a little tiny cat. Come here, come on. There we go. Look at her. She's so sweet and tiny. She's like the cat we spent the night with. Well, she kind of is that size. And that's all. Let's get out of there. Really cool. He's so excited to get out. Ah. You really think he's going to take that fish get? <laughs> Excited guys, this is not our dog. No. <laughs> that's our friend's dog, Bandit. We'll yeah, be may, walk him sometimes. Yeah, you've probably seen him in some of our previous vlogs. It turns out that we end up walking Bandit on these vlog days. Luna the cat was just sitting there waiting for us. And apparently she likes to walk like 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 a dog. I can't believe she walked all the way to our car and back. <laughs> hey Luna. You're a pretty little girl. Say hi to everyone. I made a gigantic pot of ratatouille last night, and uh, oh, this is the leftover, so it's a lot, but you know, I know Ryan, he could probably still eat a little bit more. What happened, I had some of this pre-made polenta, and we're gonna try it out in the baguette air fryer. I think it should turn out really good. I'm ten minutes right now. Think so? Yeah, I don't know if we need more, we'll do some more. Should be crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Okay. Hey, you bit them. Well, I've been there too, but I'll take them. <laughs> you have to test them to make sure they're warm and thorough. Oh, that's good. 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 O
Oh, hot. Huh. Oh, hot. Huh. And this is the general dinner right here. It's looking good. The recipe for this will be in my next vegan cookbook. Hopefully coming out at the end of the year, if not sometime next year. Oh, you can take a bite of approval? Take a bite of approval, hell Why yeah. Not? Why not? Hmm. Wow. Such simple but good food. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, the, the ratatouille is just filled with summer produce from farmer's market. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, it's that time of year. There's lots of uh, eggplants and, oh, what do you call those things? Squash, mushrooms. I didn't use my fresh tomatoes. I used canned tomatoes. You could do it either way. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go eat. All right. He was the baby a few months ago, I think. Oh, no, this was definitely the baby. No, he's a little adolescent. Oh, look oh, how cute he is. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, he's a precious little guy. Yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh, so cute. Oh, he's going to check for the kibble. Oh. Aww. Oh, he's Sorry, so guys. Like, but you've been having Cuban and water out here. He might drink some water. Yeah, he's drinking the water. Oh, he's going to go. drink it? No. Oh, there's the big old possum. Oh, the big old I saw. Is that the big one you saw? I see. If it has a white patch on its tail, then yeah. Yeah, it looks like it has a white tail. Oh, yeah. He was on the side here a minute ago. Oh. It's like, if anybody's getting a kibble in the water, it's going to be burnt. <laughs> so the little one got scared and ran. Oh, the little one's up here now. No, he's just watching from a distance. Oh my gosh, I guess that's not his parent. Okay, the big one didn't care about water. His yeah. tail looked like a carrot. All right, he's got the kibble and he's chowing down. Vegan kibble. Vegan kibble. Almost, loves it. I feel like it's just a matter of time till that big one comes back. Hendrix. Name the little guy Hendrix. Yeah. Aww. He's so thirsty after all that dry kibble. He's got the good sense to hydrate. I do too. I'm nice hydrating. Stay hydrated, little Hendrix. I imagine what the cup's like here. I don't know. All right, bye bye. <laughs> Hey, Joe. Oh, yeah, Joe. Oh, Jojo. Oh, my goodness, your claws, though. Jojo, hi. All right, so I almost forgot to do the mail time. So some of these packages, I think, have been at the post office for a while. Sorry that we didn't check it sooner. Stuff's been happening lately. But let's see what we've got. Oh, hey, there's a car. Babe, there's a card for you in here. Oh, really? Yeah, this right, book is, come. all right. Uh, who knows, maybe it's a birthday gift for all I know. I don't want to mess that up. This one's also to Ryan. Oh. You can go ahead and. Check what, the card it, first? Or? Well, this one, just cause I'm. Okay, all right, let's see what this is. A t-shirt of some kind. Yeah. Definitely not my size. This sounds kind of familiar about Does something. It? Broccoli soldier. Did someone mention this to me on a live stream? If so, refresh me because I've kind of forgotten over time. But wow. thanks. Cool. That's I will wear it. It's pretty crazy. I am a broccoli soldier. This is a happy healthy meeting, so I'm guessing both of us. Okay. All right. All right. Um, oh, it's a birthday card. Ah, oh, see, that's, it's been a really long time since yeah. we checked oh, wow. the box. Oh, it's, look um, how sweet. It's Namaste from Bo and Wayne Devin. All right, cool. Well, thanks so much, guys. I think I'll read the whole thing. I've been talking about some stuff I've done on live streams. Oh, stuff. another live stream yeah. friend. Oh, that's nice. Cool. Thank you, guys. Well, it's a long... <laughs> That's, oh, that, usually thank you. our letters are pretty long. Thank you guys, appreciate it. Is this for me? Uh, yeah, that's for you. That was Sweet. the gift from them. Oh, I will be reading it, so I'm much, much appreciated. Yeah. Thank you guys. Wow, this one's so hard to open. To open? Okay. All right, from, oh, Tara from Pacific Palisades. All right. All right. Take two. Oh, book. hey! This one's for me. This is BTS. Ah. That's hilarious. <laughs> Just paper, right? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that looks like Tay. Oh yeah, that looks like RM. Okay, yeah, it's like little drawings of them. <laughs> I was like, for a second, I was like, maybe it's just random K-popers. Oh, that's so cute. It's like a diary. Thank you so much. That's well, that was sweet. fun. And we both got gifts. Yeah, awesome. You guys are awesome. You guys are the most awesome viewers, fans. Totally. I hope you enjoyed watching what we did and ate in entirety of this day. 
and long-time viewers of our vlogs know that my eating is not done. I'll shoot some B-roll of what I have right. later on tonight, which is most likely going to be some form of a, a sprouted oat. Um, it's basically, I think what you eat is called mucilage. Okay. Yeah. So, how do you normally take them out? Uh, I say just like this video. Um, uh, I don't know if you want to share with this video, but feel free to share it. Share it. Remember, um, I'm running for public office, so yeah. check out my website, ryanlum.net. Um, mm -hmm. See my positions, and I could really use some donations to catch up to my uh, competitors in this race for Long Beach City Council. Good luck, man. Yeah, thank you. I gotta start working hard. Anyway, guys, I guess that's it. So until next time, guys, remember, vote vegan. Alright, I think we got something. Good thing, yeah, it's best to shoot the thumbnails as early as you can.